We're here at Trend and Fire headquarters for this week's Thrill of the Grill segment. And Chef Billy, you're going to show us how to make two firehouse favorites, right? Yes. What are you making? We're going to make two specialty pies. We're going to make a caramelized onion pie, and we're going to make a buffalo chicken pie. All right. Well, sounds good. So let's get started. All right. Now, while that pie's cooking in there, we're going to go to the, the second pie, which is going to be the buffalo chicken pie. We're going to take the same steps as what we did with the other one as far as olive oil on the outside edge. And then we're going to go with the sauce here. Now, the sauce is made with two-thirds of a crushed tomato sauce and one-third of a hot wing sauce. And just mix that together. Put that on your, your dough. Spread it around real nice. Then we'll go to our mozzarella cheese. Now prior to these toppings going on here, the chicken is sauteed in a hot wing sauce for approximately 10 minutes. Once you have that done, it's ready to go and it's ready to go on this pie. We also have celery. Take it off the stalk and chop it up thin. Put that on your pie. Now we can add our buffalo chicken. Now for the next segment, the easy part, just going to put the pie in the oven. If you notice, we have the uh, just a regular floor tile that you put in there, okay, that you can buy at any, any uh, hardware store or you can buy them at uh, Home Depot, any of those places. And you're going to set your temperature on your oven. Most home ovens are going to be set probably around 450, but you just have to check for yourself to see what temperature is right for you. Once you put the pie on 450, but you just have to check for yourself to see what temperature is right for you. Once you put the pie in the oven, it should be no more than 10 to 12 minutes. Now we got the pie about two minutes away from being done. We're going to pull it out, bring it back over here, and we're going to put some crumbled blue cheese on it. You can get it. It comes in chunks like this and just kind of smash it up a little bit, spread it around. Gives it a real nice flavor. And once you have it all spread out on there, back in the oven we go. For two minutes. All right, looks delicious. Thanks so much for showing us your secret recipe. Yeah. And if you want to view a complete recipe of this, just log on to WZBN.com and click on Thrill of the Grill at Fire Headquarters in Trenton. I'm Callie Cart with Chef Billy for this week's Thrill of the Grill.